Second, organic dairy, incredible challenges in Vermont. Uh, and uh, Secre Under Secretary Moffat and I went to a, a, a sixth generation uh, organic farm. Uh, there's $100 million uh, of aid that's in, uh, available and uh, it's desperately needed as a safety net to keep these folks going. When we had our meeting, an organic farmer uh, in the valley uh, asked the right question, where's the money? Where's the money? The money is in the process. We're, we're in the process of streamlining the application. Um, and it's basically looking at 75% of the uh, future marketing costs of 2023. So we have to have a baseline uh, upon which to determine what that 75% is going to be factored against. So we're in the process of accumulating that. So I would expect and anticipate sometime this summer uh, that we'll have enough information to be able to begin uh, uh, receiving applications. Uh, farmers can take a look at uh, www.farmers.gov. That's where all the information about this particular program will be. Okay, I'll just tr try to convey the sense of urgency that these farmers had, and I know you know it, but I don't know that they have that much time, seriously. So I know you gotta go through your procedures, but the Vermont legislature was actually considering trying to supplement or fill in until the money arrived. Well, so the clock is ticking here for these folks. So yeah. anything that we can do to speed that up, they really need the help. Now, in addition, we also provided additional uh, support under the uh, volatility, uh, market volatility assistance program to dairy producers, and we also put resources behind the Dairy Innovation Center in Vermont. So there, there, we are putting resources there to provide help and assistance okay. to get folks onto the. All right, I, I may be a little bit of a pest because there's such an existential reality, but I appreciate that.